Hello, my name is Nima Jadama. I am from the Gambia, West Africa. I live in Berlin. Um, I'm a journalist and a social worker. I was working as a journalist in the Gambia and I arrived June, end of June 2015 in Germany with a huge dream to further my career or be able to work in the media industry. I realized I have to start from zero, which is actually um, the main thing, like the language barrier. So this actually affects everything. I have no knowledge of German and I didn't even know how the media system works in Germany. Um, the profession, I would say, it's quite different because here it's more international level, it's more professional and what I learn and what I came across here is something quite different. So what I do is, I, every day I'll open my laptop and searching in English, uh, media opportunities, what can I do in Germany as a journalist. So this picture here actually it reminds me of my journey. Uh, I mean how I started, how I get a space in the German media. This was at Radio Tri Eckland in Freiburg in a project called Our Voice. It was a project designed for migrants with journalist background and those people were used to actually uh, train refugees and migrants who are interested to do radio um, in order to tell their own stories instead of journalists reporting about them. Because back then the idea was like, okay, journalists are talking about reporting about migrants without migrants and sometimes they didn't even ask uh, their opinion and they just report, they just make headlines and so on. I was also at the newspaper where I did a three months in internship and I felt that I was pushed into a corner where I would just report on migration. Uh, at the end of the day, was this big push and pull because they want to do a portrait on me, on my story. So I told him, I don't want to tell my story now. I'm here as a journalist. I'm not here to be telling my stories, but to tell people's story. This here was my Carnival de la Culture, um, 2019. So I was lucky to present Moderate Life. It was a big push and pull. I said, I can't do it because it's in German. What am I going to say? They're like, you can do it, you can do it. So they pushed. So I could remember this day, there is this black lady that comes to me, just hugged me and was like, I am so proud I see a black person reporting live in a German TV. I've never seen this. I've been here for 20 years. <laughs> My competence is what should actually be looked at. Not appearance is of course super important, but I think this appearance is beautiful. I love the way I am. It's my right to decide how I want to look. It's my right to decide what I want to wear. They're talking about diversity, and you saw a lot of almost all German media will be like diversity, diversity. We want to involve uh, uh, migrants and so on. But in reality, you would not find, especially in a TV. Any woman with a veil. So um, I would say I'm a role model to many and many people are happy or proud of me. I think migrants and refugees could fulfill their potential with support. Most of us lack support and in this case you don't even realize that you have a potential. Right, for example I have a potential and I didn't even know I could do more. Alex will help me out. One of the editors, David, is so nice. David was like, Nima, look, you're a journalist and we want to train you as a journalist. We don't want to train you as a migrant. We want you to interview people and be that journalist. I produce and present Nima's Pantabab and I want to do it in English. So they said, our rule is not English, it's German. Because we live in a German country and our audience are German. So then we ended up coming up with this idea to, to do it in two languages, in German and English. And I had to convince them that my target group are migrants and they don't, most of them don't understand German. So if we do it in English, then it's easier for them to get them as well. Unfortunately, Nima's Bantava is not paid, but because media is my dream, I'm like, even if I don't have any money in it, I will do it. Mm. 
My idea was to work as a professional journalist, but now I'm doing something different. I work as a social facility manager, do most of social work, um, consultations. Um, I mean, supporting migrants instead of reporting for them. You interact a lot with people, you know. Uh, you got to know the other side of the wall. So I think this shaped me a lot. It helped me a lot to see the different aspect of life. My dream is to work in a big media house, is to have a well-paid job. I don't know what will happen in the next, let's say, three, five years' time. Maybe by next day we are talking, Nima's Bantuba will be in a, in a different level. Because if I want to do something and it means a lot to me, I didn't give, give up. I didn't look back. I just go for it and, and, and I make it happen.